Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your timeless reading and welcome to my channel. Previously, this was a Pisces only channel, but I felt the nudge to open it up to all zodiac signs and wow, am I glad that I did. Um, it feels really, really good here and I'm thankful for you to be here, Scorpio. Uh, I'm really excited about doing this reading for you. Um, if you haven't subscribed, uh, I hope that you will. Absolutely free for you to do so. Now, this reading is timeless, but the deal that I'm about to offer you is not, okay? <laughs> I am offering buy one, get one free readings uh, from now through December 31st of 2023. So if you would like to snag a free reading and share that with your bestie, your significant other, co-workers, or whoever, or just get an extra one for yourself, okay? Uh, reach out to me at PiscesPowerReadings at gmail.com. That's PiscesPowerReadings at gmail.com, okay? All right, I want to take just a second and thank and welcome in the Archangels who help me with my channel and who oversee this growing community. Archangels, I just request that you infuse this reading and all the readings on this channel with your frequencies, your vibrations, your affirmations, encouragement, predictions, and just whatever my viewers have need of. Now, Scorpio, this is for all placements. So if you are Venus and Scorpio, this is absolutely applicable for you. Feel free to look back through all the playlists, um, and they, those are timeless, and uh, you might be able to find messages there for some of your other placements, okay? So this is a reading for all Scorpio placements. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, going to start with the energy oracle. I'm going to pull anywhere between one to three cards to get an idea of the energy or the issues that spirit would like to explore or address with you, Scorpio. So we're going to start off with sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron, card number 40. Perhaps some of you are 40 years old. If that number is significant for you, um, let me know. Maybe you like someone who has the jersey number 40. Uh, maybe someone you love is 40. Um, so just look at that <clears throat> as confirmation of this being your reading. But here we have the sixth chakra and we have Archangel Metatron. And I love that as I requested their frequencies, this is the very first thing we started off with is Metatron, okay? Now, Archangel Metatron is wonderful for helping you um, understand emotional um, issues, emotional concepts, emotional intelligence. Um, Archangel Metatron is really great for helping you with your emotions. So that's the first card we've got. Also, it might be a good idea if you do meditation to meditate on your sixth chakra and ask Archangel Metatron to come through and show you what he would like for you to know. Okay? Interesting way to start. Let's grab another one. Angel of Balance 48. We have two angel cards here. Okay, so I'm going to grab one more and see if there is a cohesive picture yet. Oh, all right, Scorpio, I think it's safe to say that the angels are calling you. Fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. Now, Archangel Gabriel is a messenger angel. And if you are familiar with the Christian Bible, um, Gabriel is said, he said uh, about himself that he stands in the presence of God. So, in other words... Gabriel gets real-time information from the divine, okay? And he delivers that to the earth, to humanity, to you, to me, okay? To this reading. <laughs> and so it's very interesting. You have got Metatron, 
Gabriel, and in the middle, balance. So since these represent are representative of emotions and messages, is there a call for you, Scorpio, to not be so triggered about messages that you're receiving? Perhaps you're being called to be an angel of balance um, in between the extremes of what I'm hearing is like text messages, I'm hearing online messages, inbox messages, perhaps there's some kind of inflammatory or um, heart, heart breaking messages uh, that's really triggering you and your emotions. If that resonates with you, would you please click that like button and let me know? Um, I'm also picking up on maybe legal matters. Perhaps you're receiving letters from attorneys or you're sending letters from your attorneys. Um, but there's just definitely this messenger energy here with Gabriel. You see he has his trumpet, his horn to sound the alarm, to um, you know bring, bring the sound that is needed, all right? So very interesting way to start. I'm going to go ahead and move to my typical, my classic five card spread. It is a metaphysical exploration of the five senses. And what we do is, is we go through the five senses and spirit will reveal to us ways that we can leverage um, the energy of this and the message of these oracle cards w through our five senses, okay? Uh, and so sometimes that can get pretty interesting and it definitely yields a lot of insight. So spirit in the area of touch, what do my Scorpio viewers need to get their hands on? In the area of taste, what do my Scorpio viewers have a taste for? In the area of smell, what is in the air for my Scorpio viewers? And in the area of hearing, Spirit, what do you want Scorpio to hear? And finally, Spirit, what do you want Scorpio to see? In the area of touch, we have the Two of Swords. Yeah, so twos represent balancing, twos represent decisions, um, and clearly this figure on the Two of Swords is blindfolded. So if they need to make a decision, they might not be able to do so very well or as informed as they otherwise could be um, if they didn't have this blindfold on. So Scorpio, I'm feeling led to ask you, where do you feel like your blind spots are? Where do you feel like your blind spots are? And how could those blind spots maybe uh, be affecting your ability to receive messages from the divine or from other people even? Um, also, because this is swords, this is air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I'm wondering if perhaps there's not one of those signs uh, that you are being influenced by that is kind of in your energy right now. Um, but what I'm thinking you need to get your hands on, Scorpio, is some clarity of thought so that you can make decisions and stay balanced, okay? In the area of taste, what do my Scorpios have a taste for? Simpler times, simpler times. Six of Cups, uh, emotional ease, emotional satisfaction, a return to innocence. Um, this can also be a card of nostalgia, not really picking up a nostalgia energy as much as I am picking up on the energy of a tired, vexed mind, mind who wishes they could go back to maybe their childhood and wishes things were simpler. Also, the number six might be of relevance to you. I'm feeling called to have you look at that. Um, maybe that number is your life path number. Um, but let me know if that number six is significant for you, okay? Uh, but yeah, you've got a taste for simpler times. So you're, you're longing and you're wanting to go back to something perhaps that's, a, that's emotionally easier for you and easier for you to hear and deal with. Um, so yeah, okay. What's in the air for my Scorpio viewers? 
Page of Pentacles. There is a message coming for you, uh, Scorpio, and possibly by an earth sign, a, Vo a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. I just heard the word legal system again. I heard that up here when I was looking at the um, fifth chakra Gabriel card, but there's a message in the air that's coming to you. I feel like it's going to be a really great message. It's going to be one that's going to help you get grounded into earth energy so that way you can find that balance that you need and not be caught up in the vexation of your mind like this two of swords and indecision okay so there is something in the air that is coming for you it's a message uh, i think that will bring you great news great relief and help you get grounded and centered okay now if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do i hope that you will uh, I'm trying to grow a high vibe, safe space here that is beneficial for everyone who pops in, okay? All right, next in the area of hearing, Spirit, what do you want Scorpio to hear? <gasps> Six of Pentacles. I just heard the words, be benevolent, be benevolent, okay? And I feel like this goes along with this earth energy of the page, okay? Oh my goodness. I just got a download. Scorpio, do you know what I just heard? That is the message. I said you were going to have a message, and it's like it's already popped up right here. Now, that doesn't mean this will be the only message, but this is one of them. So, I think Spirit is calling you to a time of benevolence where you can give without fear. When you give with fear, you create resistance and blocks in money flowing to you, in resources flowing to you. So if it is within your ability, now I'm not saying give all of it. I'm not even saying give half of it. I'm just saying um, if there are areas in your life where you can be more benevolent, perhaps with your time, with your words, uh, with your affirmations uh, for the people in your life that you love and care about, do give those things, okay? They're very important. Um, this is a timeless reading, but it's December, and, you know, this time of the year can be hard for people. So anything that you can give will definitely come back to you in many good ways, Scorpio, but also it will help you feel grounded in who you are as that confident, fearless, benevolent being who is in a state of constant receiving. Oh, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> yes, yes, that's awesome. I love that. That feels really, really good. If this is feeling good to you, uh, would you click that like button to let me know? All right, Spirit, what do you want Scorpio to see? Four of Cups. This is a beauty, and I'll tell you why. So, what's going to happen is, I actually got a huge revelation on this card earlier today. Um, so, this is why I'm so excited to see this in your reading, Scorpio. What's going to happen is, is as you begin to fearlessly and confidently give of your um, love, your time, your wisdom, affirmations, your emotions, uh, and whatever resources you feel called to and are actually able to without, you know, detriment to your own um, security. What's going to happen is, is you're going to start getting cups yourself. People are going to start handing you cups left and right, and you're going to be in a position to choose. You don't have to take every cup that comes your way. You can take whichever cup feels right for you, and you also have absolute autonomy, Scorpio, to turn down the cups that just don't do it for you, okay? That is a very good position to be in, so I think what Spirit is wanting you to see right here is to see yourself in a place of fearlessness, security, abundance, and in a position to be able to turn away things. So here's something I just got. I heard turn away work. Perhaps you are overworked. If that resonates with you, if that's true for you, will you click that like button? Perhaps you are overworked, but 
you have to take every single job and every offer that you get just to survive and you're really, really tired and you really don't like the offers that you're taking. Um, but there's coming a time where it's not going to be like that. And that is simply because you are learning balance. You are going to be working with the angels, okay? You're going to become decisive and you're not going to be stuck in nostalgia, okay? You're going to be receiving what you have need of and letting it flow. You're going to be a channel, Scorpio, and because of that, it's going to position you in a place of power and abundance and resource to where you don't have to take just any old cup that comes your way. Is that good news? <laughs> I love news like that. <laughs> Maybe that's what this page of Pentacles is saying to you, and that's what this page of Pentacles wants you to see. So begin to see yourself like this, Scorpio. If you do um, visualization practices, I highly encourage you to, to visualize yourself as that person, that person of affluence, that person of abundance, that person who is a cornucopia uh, to the world because so much flow and so much increase is able to come in to your life, okay, where you can turn around and reroute it and do amazing things with it. So this almost to me sounds like a success uh, in a money reading. It sounds like a relationships reading, whether that's romantic or not. Uh, but yeah, this is super, super beautiful, Scorpio. I am really loving this. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will. Um, I treasure your presence here, and it would mean so much to have you as a subscriber in this community. Now, Scorpio, I'm going to go ahead and pull a Moonology Oracle and see what the final closing thoughts and sentiments are from the Archangels and Spirit about this message, how we're going to wrap it up. Don't forget the buy one, get one free readings through December 31st, 2023. You can reach me at Pisces Power Readings at gmail.com. Here we go. The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. Absolutely. And I can feel that energy gaining the momentum because there is a progression here. There is a progression where you might have been feeling a little bit imbalanced, a little bit scattered, a little bit insecure, uh, vexed in your mind, wanting simpler times, but then you receive the messages that you have need of or that you are going to receive the messages that you need that will center you, ground you, give you the confidence to be the channel and the powerful person of influence, affluence, and abundance that you are being called to be. So this energy, Scorpio, is building. This is what is manifesting at the time of this reading, whenever you read it or whenever you hear it, see it. Um, and so that is just, that's absolutely lovely. If you feel this is true for you, just click that like button, okay? All right, Scorpio. Well, I appreciate you so much, and uh, I look forward to seeing you reading your energy and bringing you these messages uh, again very soon. Keep checking the channel. Look at the other signs. If you have other placements, all the readings are timeless, and uh, maybe you'll find some more little nuggets of wisdom and encouragement, okay? I appreciate you so much, Scorpio, and until the next video, bye!